A whole sanctuary of blood mages. I hope we can stand against them. Wonderful. More vessels for our experiments. Where is Karen? Perhaps the demons will find one of you suitable. Careful, Hawk. She may be an abomination. I am not some hopeless waif that ran crying to a demon. I sought them out and embraced them. If you turn yourself in now, the Templars may spare your life. The Templars? We will destroy their entire pathetic order. If a few more Templars fall to the demons, we can seed chaos in their ranks. How many abominations can they discover amongst their own before it drives the Knight Commander crazy? The demons are using you. Fight them! In days of old, the Tevinter Imperium spanned the known world. Demons were their allies, held in check by power and knowledge. With a wave of a hand, I could do more than a Templar can achieve in a lifetime. Yet they command us. Absurd. We should be ruling them. We should rule you all. Kill the vessels only if you must. <laughs>
Is it... is it over? Karen. Yes, that's my name. Oh, thank the Maker. I thought he had abandoned me. Be careful, Hawk. He was influenced. The cage has opened. Thank Andraste. Meryl, you know something about this. Is he possessed? I don't know. It's... It's clean. There's no scent of demons in his blood. If there's even the slightest chance you're possessed, the Templars need to know. No. No, I'm me, I swear. Don't tell the Templars. I... I don't know what they do to me. Please, I need to go back. Tell them I'm all right. Tell my sister. I... I must go. Cullen needs to hear about this mess. Blood mages have infiltrated your ranks. They've been implanting your recruits with demons. Sweet blood of Andraste. De demons? Did you say something about the recruits and demons? I didn't want to tell you, Masha. They... they were horrible. Those mages see the rest of us as ants to be crushed. They won't stop until they've destroyed the Chantry and the Templars forever. Tarane was crazy. Magic didn't make her that way. True. Not every mage gives in to temptation, but none are ever free of it. At any time, any mage could become a monster, from the lowest apprentice to the most seasoned enchanters. Mages cannot be treated like people. They are not like you and me. Surely that's a little harsh. Maybe we shouldn't be arguing with the nice Templar. Smile and nod. Smile and nod. They are weapons. They have the power to light a city on fire in a fit of pique. Mages are humans, and elves, just like the rest of us. Many might go their whole lives thinking that. But if even one in ten falls to the lure of blood magic, they could destroy this world. For now, Karen, unless it is proven you are free of demons, I must strip you of your commission immediately. No, you can't really think that. Karen's fine. He's safe. He deserves mercy. What happened wasn't his fault. Please, sir. I tried to resist. I never took anything they offered. I... I need this position, or my sister can't eat. I've been training for five years. Karen did nothing wrong. You can't strip his livelihood on the off chance Tarane succeeded. Please, Knight Captain. I'll prove I'm loyal. Ask me anything. My brother's a good man, sir. He would never succumb to a demon. Perhaps it is best to keep our enemies close. We can watch him far better here than in the city. So be it. If he has shown no sign of demonic possession in ten years' time, Karen will become eligible for full knighthood. Thank you, Sarah. Again. But without a full knighthood, Karen's pay is so small. I do not know if I can reward you as you deserve. I will handle that, miss. You have done the Order a great service. We will not forget it. Did Lothering have any lineage? It wasn't a big enough village to have a wall around it, let alone a place for it. 